everyone, this is Laura and I help people to embrace their intuitive gifts to tap into the greatest part of themselves, to be uniquely different, to step into their divine higher self. And with that being said, what we have for today is the um, October. So I'm going to kind of give a forecast for the month of October, you know, like general energies. What do, you know, the angels and guides want to say about things for the month of October. And happy birthday to all of my fellow Libras. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> uh, my birthday is October 13th. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to be doing yet. You know, usually I like to go on trips or, um, you know, I'll do something where I celebrate my birthday for a week. And I either do it before the date or after the date. And um, if you guys uh, have some things you like to do for your birthdays, you know, put it in the comments below. And um, let's see what we got. What's our energy for October? So we're just push. you know, they're just placing us in a protective shield of light. Now, what I'm getting overall from the angels and guides is that they want you to know that everything is up to you this month. Like, I feel lots of good energy coming in, lots of change. And I feel Archangel Gabriel wants to work with people for the entire month. And Gabriel can help with, you know, people that are entrepreneurs, people that want to make a difference in the world. Uh, families, um, networking, you know, um, people just healing themselves. You know, Gabriel is a very kind um, archangel. And then I got a couple of card decks I'm going to use as well. I'm going to be using the Triggers Oracle deck. So I'm going to be looking at, you know, what do we need to pay attention to? What may trigger us? Shadow Work card deck. And then I have the Soul Truth and the Power of Surrender. They definitely wanted me to pick that one out. And some of these uh, card decks I may be using in the weekly forecast, which will be in the next video. So I'm just going to close my eyes. Calling it, we're asking the Guardian Angels to give us messages about October, Archangel Gabriel, and Uriel now wants to come in. They said, surprise yourself. The theme of the month is surprise yourself. Do something you wouldn't normally do. This is your time to take a chance on yourself, your creativity, where you want to be, um, who you want to be. And I see, I see an angel kind of doing this type of thing and saying, it's time to come out of the closet. A lot of people are... You know, there's more and more people that are waking up. They're um, becoming aware of their own intuitive gifts or they're questioning their belief systems, who they are. And it's time to just dive a little deeper into that, okay? Instead of just jumping to the next thing, okay, or the next goal, stop and really dig your heels in, okay? Get to know yourself a little bit better this month. Okay. I feel like this October may be a little bit more about relationships with yourself first and then others second. Okay. And if you, you know, like for people in love relationships or they're consumed with the person and what's going on with them, that type of thing, you're doing yourself a disservice. You need to make sure that you're focusing within because what I'm getting is that the, you know, your angels and guides are saying that it's important to take the time needed to really reevaluate yourself, your goals and your priorities and to do more, you know, more of your self care. Like that's very important. Okay, so let's get to, they want me to go first to, for October, we're just gonna look for the collective consciousness. Now, of course, not everything I say is gonna hit for everyone, okay? Because it's going for the collective consciousness. What do we need to pay attention to? Collective consciousness for October. 
Okay, and this says, so you can write this stuff down and then kind of throughout the month of October, come back to it, look at it and see, or, you know, journal about it and things like that. So here's our card. I need to be in a relationship as I don't know how to be alone. Now that's funny because the angels did bring up for some people, they could be consumed with when it, when is, you know, when is a lover coming? Okay. Or, um, it could be, they're obsessed with someone they broke up with, you know, all those types of things or not feeling satisfied in a current relationship. Now they're telling me that this is a journal question that you could write that down and focus on it. Let me see if there's anything else they want to say about this. They said you need to become comfortable with being alone. That, you know, oftentimes what we're looking for in people is things we don't have in ourselves. So start treating yourself for the month of October the way that you've always wanted others to treat you. Or, or kind of think of it like spoil yourself, that type of thing. Okay, now I'm going to go to, for October, we have the shadow work cards. Let's see what we got. So this, again, for the collective consciousness, what are angels and Archangel Gabriel want to say? What do they want people to focus on? Okay, they, one from the bottom. Alrighty, here's our card. Inconsiderate. Act with compassion and kindness. Be thoughtful and polite. It just feels better on the inside. And I also got about having more empathy to other people. Now, I, I'm human. I am guilty of this myself. You know where you see these memes and these jokes online about people. And then you want to pass it to everybody and they're all laughing in that. But sometimes it's at other people's expense have a little more empathy or a little bit more understanding of what that person is going through. Sometimes, you know, we can close ourselves down to prevent any further pain. And so we're just spreading more pain to others. With this one, yeah, I'm getting that this is from the angels and guides and they're saying, it's like mission impossible. Should you choose to accept this assignment? <laughs> They're um, asking for people to do something nice for someone just for the sake of it in October, you know. And sometimes that could be like for people, I used to live in Chicago and the toll booth was a pain in the butt. You could pay the toll for the person ahead of you. But now, you know, they made it more automated. So I don't know if that's something you could always do, but maybe like in the coffee shop. You could pay for the person behind you, what their order is going to be, or, or things of that nature. Pay it forward. There's just different things that you could do or help someone out and they're not expecting it. What I'm getting is that the angels want to show that the good that you do does come back to you. It's kind of um, like, a, like a secret in the spiritual circles. They, people just say, oh, just... I'm just here to serve mankind and give and give. But a lot of times people get what they're, you know, what you're dishing out, you're getting back, okay? And I feel like your angels and guides are saying, let's give more this month in October. And, okay, this is a this is something, I feel like it's a, a angel uh, and guides public service announcement. If you haven't noticed, um, I love like Halloween and the fall season and all that, you know, but what I've noticed is that a lot of the Halloween stuff has gotten more grim and more dark. And you have to think about, you know, the energetic ramifications of this stuff on you. Now, me being, I'm super hypersensitive to everything. So I used to watch, um, I'll give you a show, The Walking Dead. Okay, I used to be somebody that I would watch horror movies, I would watch um, zombie stuff, I was a big Walking Dead fan. And then after a period of time, as my spiritual development got stronger and stronger, when I would watch the shows, I would tune into it. I would tune into the frequency of whatever I was watching. And if it was something like a horror movie or scary or something, 
I would tune into it. Like I would go, like it was, it's kind of freaky. Like you can tune into these areas of energy and feeling. And sometimes it's a realm that you're tuning into and you think you're just watching a show. Okay. Um, you know, like what I'm hearing is like where, where your attention goes, energy flows. So my example is that I started to watch The Walking Dead and I started getting these really bad, horrible feelings. I started feeling like really depressed. I just started feeling like the, the characters I love just kept dying and I hated it. And it just made me feel really bad about humanity, even though it was a show. And now some people watching this, they may be, well, I don't have to worry about that stuff. I'm not that sensitive. But still, what you're putting in your mind, what you're listening to, everything that you're putting yourself in front of, even the news sometimes, can affect your well-being. So just be aware of, be an observer for Halloween, okay? Now, I went, even went to the Halloween store and, you know, like, um... I went in there and there was some, there was a negative entity hanging out in the Halloween store that I had to clear out. So just be aware guys, if you're sensitive like me, you know, like the angels have told me that we're a balance of this light and dark energy. And you know, if you're heavily working with higher forces, that darkness is gonna, you're gonna be really aware of the darkness around you or the, you know, the negativity. I should say and um, just you know if it becomes too much you know get out of there turn off the show get walk out of the movie theater like I go to the movies a lot and some of those I walked into this stuff and I'm like oh my gosh and the energy is so strong even though I put up my you know you put up your shield of protection you ask your angels to be around your spirit team you can still sometimes you just can't help yourself and you just tune into things you know so just be aware of that guys if it gets to be too much and the energy you can, you'll notice the energy feels really dense or heavy now i'll just give you this one more example and then i'm going to pull some more about october but i want you guys to be aware of this of how the energy is changing because you know a lot of times um october would be like a fun uh, fall festival and you know i would take my son when he was younger to the pumpkin patch and now it's all this dark stuff with serial killers and us glorifying them you know um so just be aware of how the energy is changing and don't get sucked into it okay um yeah okay i did have a thought and then it went whoop, and it left <laughs> uh, it was another thing related to halloween oh Okay, there's this show that I, it's a cooking show, and I think it's called Halloween Wars. I'm not positive. But this guy who is a ghost hunter, he gets on there and he pops on these TV screens while these people are cooking, and they give them challenges. So usually, I like to watch this type of stuff. Like, I'll watch it for Christmas things, too. But the energy around this guy is gross. And, you know, some of the ghost hunting stuff, a lot of these people they have tragic things happen to them because they're searching out all this weird thing weird stuff and every time i watch that show it just feels i get this heavy dark feeling and just feels like ugh, gross so i finally told my partner i don't want to watch that one anymore let's pick one that feels lighter so just be aware sensitive people if you like halloween like i do you got to pick and choose what you want to watch or participate in, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, now let's get to, they gave me, we're going to do the um, Power of Surrender. Let's see, what do we need to surrender for October? October, Power of Surrender. The collective consciousness, the people that are watching right now, what do you need to surrender for October? And I feel like a lot of these messages are timeless. So you can... Um, you can look at this a year from now and maybe pull some things from it. All right, so here we have surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. 
Now what I'm getting is that this, this particular is about people holding grudges or people sending, sending negativity and, and fear to others. And sometimes it's an unconscious thing. We could just be doing that by somebody's walking across the street and we're, you know, judging their outfit or their clothes or who they are, you know, and we're sending things to them, you know, that, you know, um, what I'm getting for this is it's time to let go. It's time to release. So for the people that really are holding grudges and there's anger in their heart, it's not, it's not helping you. It's not making anything better. You're not hurting. You're not really hurting the person. Yes, they may feel some, you know, the people can kind of feel the energy between each other, but it's hurting you in the end. So forgive and let go. Sometimes when there's something like that where there's a lot of anger and people just can't move forward, that's when maybe you need to ask your angels and guides to clear out any negative forces that may be around you instigating the situation because they feed off of that fear. Now let's go to our last one, which is the soul truth, which I love these cards. It's a question card deck. Okay. What do we need to ask ourselves for October? What do we need to ask ourselves for the collective consciousness? People watching right now. Okay, they told me. You know, a lot of times, you guys watch these videos a lot. You'll hear like one from the bottom, one from the top. Usually they do that. Most of the time I don't shuffle till something flies out because that that's kind of can be annoying to me. You know, it's kind of fun when you're with a group of people and you do that, but... I like to just be told, okay, here or there. <laughs> and that's just my preference, okay, guys? And it, one style is not better than the other. It's just more me as using my intuition versus just shuffling till something flies out and then, I, and then I'm trusting that spirit's giving the right message on that card. You know, it's just different techniques. Okay, here we go. To where does my soul want to travel? Now, this is a good question, guys. To where does my soul want to travel? Now, I told you that usually I try to book trips or do things with my family. My health has kind of been on and off. You know, I made that video about me almost passing away and kind of really seeing beyond the veil and all these crazy stuff that was happening. And I, if you guys try to book any readings this week, you know, the week coming up, I took some downtime. Like, I'm, I'm taking care of my body. I, I am guilty of taking care of other people way more than myself. And I have to, some of this advice is for me. I have to get back and, you know, work on me. So I'm working on my health. I'm spending some time with family. And I will be doing a little bit of traveling, okay? But what are you guys going to do, okay? Even if you can't leave, maybe you can do something on the weekend or, you know, like sometimes there, this is when I was in Chicago, they had this winery and it was, and it, it was like a bed and breakfast and it was right in my area. And I always thought about, well, what if me and my partner just went and we stayed there for the night and then we would go and try the different wines, you know, and we actually did go there for a wine tasting. It was good, but you know, that's just something like that. Or you can go on Airbnb and find like a really cool house or something in your area and do that for the weekend or a couple days you're off. What are you gonna do, okay? Get out of, if you're in, a, this is for the people in a funk or a rut. Stop going in circles, get out of it, do something new, do something different, okay? And then I'm gonna read you the back of this card. So take what fits for you, okay? And then again, some of the stuff may not register till maybe you watch it in the middle of the week or you watch this at the end of the month also. I mean, not the middle of the week, but the middle of the month. When we travel, we grow. When we open up our little worlds to more adventure, thrills, patience, understanding, trust, and oneness, our hearts and minds expand and our desires are satisfied. Where is your soul calling you to visit? And if you guys have a place in mind, put it in the comments below. Share, where do you want to go? I, I want to go back to Paris. I was there when I was in college, and uh, it was amazing. Pick a location on your desired list. Choose a date when you will get there and start planning. 
create a pin rest board or start searching on travel sites for the best restaurants. Anything that will create movement to let the universe know you are ready to make it happen and believe you can. Now, um, another when I read that part that talked about looking up restaurants, this is something that I've been doing in my where I moved to is I will go on like Google Maps and then when you go and it says things to do, restaurants, I will go and try new stuff because I'll get stuck in a, where I go to the same restaurants all the time. Okay, and then I think that's everything. If there's anything else for October. I think that's it guys. So take care and thanks for watching. And if you want to like and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to grow my channel and, you know, I'll be having more things going on later on down the line. Thank you guys.